Good day, my name is Alexander Hagen and I am the CEO of a small medium sized tech company. Previously I was a financial journalist and financial analyst. Today I'd like to speak to you about Barack Obama and the Democratic National Convention. Okay, of course they stressed uh, their beliefs and views about ecology, the environment, uh, social justice, and so forth. But there are many unanswered questions, uh, and um, although I'm traditionally considered left of center, um, Clint Eastwood did say, what do you do about uh, campaign promises? A lot of people were deeply saddened by the change we can believe in, and the more the same that we received. So the one thing I'll concede to the Obama administration is their Medical Care Act, uh, which uh, does benefit the profits of pharmaceuticals and uh, insurance companies uh, by creating a new market for them, funded uh, through taxes. However, um, in the U.S. we have such a big inequity between the rich and the poor um, that um, I certainly don't consider that a major bone of contention, even from a libertarian point of view, considering what else is at stake. Um, <clears throat> So, uh, other than that, though, uh, if we look at his uh, record, um, he has voted for the Patriot Act, reauthorized the Patriot Act, and the White House uh, pretended that it wasn't something they supported, but they actually drove the NDAA provision to allow permanent detention of Americans without trial um, for charges of uh, terrorism which is a violation of freedom of speech because it also talks about aiding terrorists and potentially even talking to certain officials like the Iranians could lead one to be fall under these provisions. Um, so there's uh, been a creeping growth of surveillance and loss of freedoms by the American people during the Obama administration. There's been an anemic response to the housing crisis. Uh, there have been no prosecution of any bankers in myriads of multi-billion dollar schemes. Uh, the war on drugs has been accelerated, which is simply a giveaway to the prison industrial complex and simply breeds crime and poverty. Of course, I respect people of the view that uh, drugs should not be legalized, um, but Obama was inconsistent between his campaign rhetoric and what he actually did. And this is a very serious crime, uh, a serious problem, especially for uh, peoples of color, as they say. Uh, then we've had uh, uh, war crimes committed in Libya, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Iraq. In Iraq, as we uh, pull out, we still leave a huge army of private contractors we're paying for with public dollars, as well as the one testimonial to our invasion, which is a diplomatic mission the size of a small city. Um, so when you invade a country and put new people in power to enjoy the oil revenues, uh, you get disaster capitalism commissions, the U.S. companies have a big uh, hand there because you put the guys in power that are now signing the contracts with you. And the same is true in Libya. In Libya, under the guise of humanitarian operation, 30,000 are dead. The country is, the government is assisting in the bulldozing of their national monuments, believe it or not, the shrines of the Sufis from the 1500s and 1600s. Um, and this is all at the uh, behest of Saudi Arabia and Qatar, who we allied with to invade Libya and overthrow their government. Gallup polled 10 countries that are Arab, and they all oppose the NATO intervention. And in general, in these uh, Arab and Islamic countries, when they're having uprisings, they don't want them militarized by foreign intervention. The same is true in Syria. According to Sami Ramadani, uh, Assad would long be gone if we hadn't have militarized a, con uh, a, a conflict. And we don't have the cover of a UN resolution now because the uh, grotesque slaughter of the Gaddafi family uh, and persecution of it and the complete cover-up of facts and the false trumping up of propaganda and then the um, <clears throat> admissions by the press that there were a lot of problems and mistakes with this once the deed had been done. So the press bangs the drums of war, repeats false charges, doesn't mention that Libya had the highest standard of living in Africa or the Middle East, uh, the best education medical systems, uh, never mentions that. Uh, and now in Syria they're at it again. Um, and in Syria, you have the case of a, of a brutal dictatorship, as they say, in Assad, 
uh, being destabilized by an even more brutal dictatorship in Saudi Arabia and Qatar, who are the main countries we sold weapons to over the last few years have been these petro monarchies, and now they're using them. Um, so uh, Obama has joined with the military industrial banking media complex. He's had virtually no press conferences. Um, so uh, from my point of view, he uh, pops out of the box and uh, trumps all of his liberal credentials. And uh, in the other areas in education, I think education in America is, is choked by the, uh, the bureaucrats uh, and employees uh, uh, refusing to allow parents and children to have more say over their education. I think that we should indeed have a voucher program. And um, I think the public schools would do just fine with it um, if they pull themselves together and allow some accountability and stop being so imperious. I have children in public school, and I know what I'm talking about. So that's my opinion piece on the Democratic Convention. I suggest that you vote for the only truly progressive candidate, which is Gary Johnson, and as well as truly small government conservative. You get both, the best of both worlds. My name is Alexander Hagen. Good day and good luck.